Alright guys, excuse any uh, sound in the background. In today's topic, we're going to be going over Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes, if you guys haven't heard or watched the show, then I understand if you haven't. At WrestleMania this year, he lost to Roman Reigns for the Universal Undisputed title. In a pretty good match, of course, the expected, uh, the unexpected draw has, uh, you know, the unexpected outcome had occurred after, you know, all the push and build up, the disappointment over to the fans, and I just feel like that was a perfect way to garner it over, to have this overcoming storyline, because it would just be so cut and dry, if Cody was to just win the Rumble, after all the scuffing of him just closing over the deal after all the trash talk with WWE, and this just becoming a misconception all because he was talking trash about this rival company trying to get AEW over and then immediately just burying him after having the main event and ha headline majority of the shows majority of promo time and poof a feuding with Brock Lesnar at a, at a B or C pay-per-view apparently is a, is a downgrade it's a burial feuding with Brock Lesnar in the main event of a pay-per-view in a different country is apparently a downgrade okay Steve, I mean, Rock, I understand you just lost to Steve Austin, but Steve Austin's out, so that means you got a few with Kurt Angle for the WWF title. Like, that's a downgrade, apparently. Now I understand it's possibly not, not over the outcome it, it, that he gets, and it, 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 sure, it, it just extensifies more if Cody gets over this outcome after getting screwed over over the, over the Undisputed Championship, and... Possibly he feuds with uh, McIntyre if he resigns. Ray, there's a lot, or Bray Wyatt if he's intending to even resign over you know getting dropped out of WrestleMania after you know he sucks at his own creative. Apparently, people just think all because you're not going to win because you asked for it means that it accounts as a burial, and that's just the illustrious amount of marketude that certain fans have. Or thus, uh, just this bewitched demand of anybody that they like that doesn't get what they want, doesn't get over, or they don't win when it's their time to win means that they're buried. Even though they're still getting the promo time, they're still getting the segments, the vignettes. Majority over the ending of the show revolves around them and Cody mean, and Cody's buried because of it. I'd rather they go over and go back to Booker T over a racial dispute after uh, the Triple H come around disrespecting his resume over in WCW, his life, his race, the way he interacts with the fans, and then he still loses over in the pay-per-view, and he would become in the upper to lower middle card until 06. Sometimes you're just not ready over that main event... Uh, main event plateau yet and sometimes losing would garner more of a momentum to see you actually win when it's the time for you to win people would think 03 would be the perfect time over the storyline they had for booker and that would be so cut and dry when you see him over as the babyface champion there isn't much established about booker yet would you really think there's so much established about cody other than he's a good talker no king booker Great, great world champion. We all remember him. The, if we have a more established win, Cody gets in a program possibly with Rollins again, possibly with Riddle, Lesnar, and establish more over his, uh, you know, accolades and more of the obstacles that are put against him over in the calendar year. There's more of the long term to go against that. That's why the bloodline is still at least one of the more top storylines for him to build around so we can actually establish Cody. So all fans got to do is shut the hell up, learn how to be more patient, and actually think that, oh, wow. So that means Cody's automatically going to get squashed around Brock, or at least not going to be treated as more of a star if he even feuds with Brock. And that's stupid, because, sure, I feel like Cody's a tiny bit overrated, but there's somewhat of upside over... Cody's acting ability that he actually gotten up when he was over on the Indies and AEW. And Cody at least gets over that understanding or else he could have walked till then. That he knows when it's the time to put the strap on himself when he's a bit more custom, more of an established. 
Possibly, if he was healthy more around 2022, they could have put the hat and could could have had more of the strap around him because he would have been more healthy and he would have had the screen time to actually accompany more of a response. He's still one of more over guys over in the company, and most of the segments people tune in to see Cody. So I don't really see the sentiment of him getting buried. Well, there's guys like Elias that's getting buried, L.A. Knight that's getting buried. There's guys that actually are competent talkers. They get degraded over in the card, and they actually have more over the guys from the black and gold to get themselves over. But Cody just losing at Mania is just too much for the fans to already uh, to use such an over over uh, overused term like burial when it comes to a guy that they want to win. That's why sometimes I don't even like dealing with uh, the wrestling sphere. Because there's so much impatience that comes over to something that doesn't have an off-season. It's either going to get rushed or it's going to take time. And usually with WWE, over a pandemic, there was a, people uh, losing their jobs. They were still with enough airtime in a facility to make time to build over McIntyre that we wanted to win the world title. And it happened. Or Roman Reigns actually turning heel. And it happened without the fans actually garnering over a response for Roman Reigns to be the top heel in the company. So maybe we just shut the hell up and watch the show like we should actually watch the show. Maybe Cody winning the world title would be a lot more, you know, good to receive. It, or Either than it being underwhelming. Tell me how you guys feel down below. I'm going to take my Tylenol. So I don't have to deal with these idiots always trying to complain over a fake fighting show. If that's it for me. Thanks for watching the DST Show. Like, comment, subscribe for more.